Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission of Mech Tech Keyboard. Alright, so today we're taking a look at one of the few RK boards that I do not own. Um, Royal Clutch did send this over to me, so that's a disclaimer, but every opinion here is my own. Now this I've had in my cart many times. I've been like, mm, I'm gonna get it, and, uh, but there's always there's always been something else I could get. But I do have the majority of all the you know the the the, the major ones, uh, the the RK series from the 61 uh, to uh, the 87 to the 84. So I, I've got quite a few of the RK boards, but I never got around to getting the 96 though. I was interested in it. So today, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it. I mean, for a lot of people, I think this is a good option uh, for, you know, wanting not to be on a full-size keyboard, but you need all the functionality of it. Now, granted, obviously, this is uh, probably be very close to the size of a full-size keyboard, but you're still going to be saving a little bit of space. And it does have... So we've got a proper USB-C USB-C cable with a USB-C to USB-A adapter, which I just kind of find funny because on every Keychron video, I say, hey guys, because they include this, but they don't include this tail. I'm like, why don't you guys do this? It'd be so simple. But here's RK. RK, they listened to me. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't my idea that gave it to them. I just have seen it before on other cables. So, and we've got an extra four switches, uh, which is always a nice thing, I mean, especially with a hot swap board. You could break one, you could lose a spring while you're, you know, lubing it for whatever reason. I always like the fact that I think most Arcane boards up boards, except obviously the bare bone ones, do come with at least a few extra switches. And then we've got your, you know, your common standard uh, wire key cap and key switch puller. So that's what we have as far as accessories go. Now once we take the keyboard out of the box, we see that we um, actually have a very nice keyboard and a nice wrist rest that is magnetic. So we have that magnetic wrist rest. Now for what this keyboard goes for, I I just got to say that's it's pretty cool. Uh, I have my own wrist rest but if for some reason I needed to use this on the go it's nice to have this so as you can see we have basically what you'd call a 96% or a compact 1800 layout though you do have a mute button and you have a barrel encoder I believe that's what they're called um, you know since you can't press on these I guess they added that button and even the button has a nice little bit of click to it, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, uh, the fact that this keyboard for most people is going to be able to replace a full size, which a full size is going to come out a little bit more uh, than this, for sure. At least by a couple of inches, if not more. I should have one handy, but I don't at the moment. Um, but you have a familiar interface. Uh, you have your arrow keys and then you have your numpad. Now some people just need a numpad. I mean, depending on, you know, data entry, programming, whatever the case may be, but their fingers are used to entering numbers all day long on the numpad and being able to also turn off the numpad and know exactly where the navigation keys are. So that's where you're getting that saved space with the print screen delete up here above the backspace and then with the numlock having the rest of your navigation keys available and they're basically a different layer for all intents and purposes. Now let's go ahead and plug this keyboard in and see how she lines up. Now, it's one thing that I did want to mention. Uh, this uh, keyboard does, uh, basically it has a hub. So if you'd like to plug in your dongle for your mouse or your Bluetooth, you know, right here, bam, there you go. Okay, so it looks like they did send me over the single colored version, which I gotta say, I honestly, I have no problem with it. I like the blue ice white that they pick. Um, it's a, it's, it's, it's an endearing color. Uh, looks like it's flickering 
on the screen, but it's not flickering. Or no, I don't believe so. So I I have the RK100, which is a compact full size with all the keys. Um, does not have the barrel encoder, but it's also a blue light as well. Uh, and I actually don't mind it. At least it has a color. Um, and the color that it has is nice to me, especially if I were to go with like say Arctic clone keycap set on here It would look gorgeous. Like I said off the bat, we have a very nice presentation We have you know an encoder which some people really love having. I mean, I know I use mine all the time It's just easy Whether it be a barrel encoder or just a regular D knob It's just an easy way to turn down the volume you know, I don't have to go and search for uh, this keyboard is which is the combination for volume down I don't have to think about it so I do like that functionality I believe a lot of people do having that magnetic re wrist rest that though substantial is not it's not very heavy so it's not going to be a problem carrying it around if you need to be mobile um, on the back we do have the uh, USB-C which is what connects to your host computer but then basically have a couple of extra USB-A ports for whatever the case may be, whether it's your Bluetooth dongle, your mouse dongle, who knows? But it's nice to be able to do that. I mean, I, I know personally, I've used them to charge my phone. I mean, it slow charges obviously, but it still charges my phone. So this is a layout that, like I said, 1800s, I recently did a video on the Keychron V5, and I, 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 that is just, to me, if I need to do everything in one board, because usually I work with a TKL and a numpad, a separate macro pad that has a knob on it. That way I can switch out TKLs and even work with 65% sometimes. But uh, the if I had, you know, like, hey, you, you gotta pick just one, it's the 1800. It, for me, it gives me everything of what I need. There's nothing I'm missing, and I still got, you know, I'm not using less space on a full-size keyboard because full-size keyboard is just, it's, it's just too big. It's just too big, in my opinion. So, anyway, we have a, you know, pretty decent build. The stabilizers don't actually sound all that bad. I mean, they definitely can use for tuning. But I've heard a lot worse. So we've got uh, browns in here. And uh, just to confirm. Yeah, these are RK switches. So I'm not, I'm gonna say since they're a big uh, corporation, they're probably making their own. Now, in, if we take a look in here. Yep. There is padding between the plate and the PCB. And we can also see that there is case foam below the plate. So not only are you getting a decently built keyboard, they've thought of you know some things. Obviously, modding is, is coming to this keyboard for sure. But it's going it already comes out of the box in much better shape. I did a review just recently on the Yaxa Pro, and though it has a really cool design, they didn't put one piece of dampening in it, and I think that that just, it took away a lot from the cool design, and at the price point, it's like you skipped out on that. So literally, it, uh, this is cheaper uh, than that Yaxa Pro. Anyway, speaking of this one, again, I love the colors, I think it works well. All right, so let's get technical. Uh, this keyboard is a wired as well as a wireless keyboard that uh, supports Bluetooth 5.0 and up, uh, and also includes a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. It does have a, uh, a switch for whether you're gonna be using Bluetooth or the 2.4 gigahertz receiver, and then it has an on and off switch for power saving. The keyboard comes in weighing at 944 grams. It retails, or the MSRP for it is $79.99, but on Amazon it can be found right now for $63.99, so $64 uh, for the blue light version. Um, 
the, the chin of the keyboard sits at 22 millimeters above the surface that you're on, while the back sits at 29 millimeters, giving you a seven degree typing angle at default state. Using the middle legs, you're gonna go up to 33.5 millimeter in height at an 8.5 degree angle. It's not much of a change, but enough for some people. And then at the last set of legs that you can pull out, you're gonna go up to 40 millimeters height in the back and a 13 degree typing angle. So you're gonna to have to find the one that works for you. Um, and again, it has the, uh, the dongle. It is held in place by a magnet. So, but it's not necessarily not possible to fall out of there. I've seen some people just to ensure that it, they don't lose it, um, put a piece of tape over it, which I mean, it, if you're going to be mobile with it, I would guarantee, I would definitely recommend doing that. This keyboard, despite the fact that I'm, I'm sure it's had revisions, like I said, I've been wanting to buy it for a while, but I've seen RK boards go through revisions. I know they don't really announce them, but I've seen them improve over time. They've definitely gotten better. Uh, this one is solidly built. It weighs uh, enough to feel substantial. It comes with a magnetic wrist rest. Um, you can get it for as low as $64. Uh, it, it has a lot of, for a budget keyboard, you know, having the hot swap compatibility, obviously you do have north facing, but north facing are the ones that are gonna light up shine through keycaps if that's important to you. But it, it's gonna look fine if you replace the keycaps. And you're gonna have, I mean, you're, you might have an issue with some keycap sets that have the wide zero. That's really the only time you're gonna find compatibility issues, but usually it's not a problem. Uh, usually most good sets will have that, will have the two, the smaller zero with the insert on it. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of this. I don't wanna call it a standard, but it has been around for a while and I do know a lot of people sing its praises and I, I do see why. It's a well-built keyboard uh, for a decent price. And I think that the sound test is gonna show that, it, I mean, obviously it's not gonna sound amazing, but I think it's gonna sound much better than other boards in this price range uh, would, um, would sound. So until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.